twelfth Imam, according to the Quran, the twelfth Imam will, will arrive and be present in Damascus, Syria. So there's, they have wrote me and said, I hate to tell you this, Pastor, but your Bible is wrong. The prophet Isaiah is false, they're saying. He's wrong. And so the real question is, which prophecy would you believe will come true? And now let me turn, if you will, to Jeremiah, another prophet of God, speaking about this very time we're living in, as well as so was Daniel in chapter 11, 41 through 40. Five. Now, here's what Jeremiah said as it concerning Syria, and he even talks about concerning Iran, what he calls Elam. But first, let's talk about Syria. That's our focus. Here's the prophet Jeremiah's words. He said in the 49th chapter of the book of Jeremiah, concerning Damascus, Harmath is confounded in Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. You do know Russia has two battleships on the Mediterranean Sea just off the coast of Syria, and America has one. Russia's battleships have these high-powered missiles that travel 2,000 miles an hour undetected by radar until it's too late. You do know this, that there's submarines in the waters, both American and Russian, and probably Chinese as well. You do know Concerning Damascus, that there's sorrow on the sea, it cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble, and it is right now. The, the city is par I'm looking right now. I'm just looking at a half a million. I'm looking at Syria. I'm looking at the whole country of Syria in a massive, massive, massive crowds of people. Unbelievable what's going on there as they continue to pour into the streets in the cities of Syria. Damascus, though, it will wax feeble, and it is. And it turneth herself to flee from the violence. The people don't want it. And fear has seized on her as a city. And anguish and sorrows have taken her as a city. And as a woman in travail, how is the city of praise not left? The city of my joy. Where did it go, Jeremiah said? Where did the city go? Isaiah said it will become no longer a city, but a ruinous heap. There's enough technology and, and bombs and nuclear abilities, or it doesn't have to be a nuclear bomb blowing up the entire city or two or three nukes. It could just be the soldiers of war creating a battlefield right in the city, planting landmines and going house to house, as already Assad is doing now. Therefore, her young men shall fall in her streets. 23 of them were shot today in the streets. Snipers killed 23 today and the day's not over. It happens every day. Dozens a day. As a matter of fact, last Friday, Assad killed 250 of the people. Did that stop them? Did that 250 young men that they murdered with the machine guns off tanks and the snipers in buildings, did that crack down work? Assad, let me ask you, Assad, did they all go home now and respect you as their leader? No! They're poured out in the streets by half a million. Listen, Assad, you're destroying your nation. But then again, the prophet Daniel, the prophet Isaiah, and the prophet Jeremiah said that you would. Only the prophet Muhammad said that you wouldn't. Now, let me read on. Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus. Those buster, those bunker busting bombs can do just that. Create a fire in the walls of the city. Are you saved today? I I, I don't know what to tell you. The crowds are overwhelming. The blood is in the streets. The violence is at a fever's pitch. And the hatred is boiling over. And we're coming to an end of the most prophetic year that I in my 50 years of lifetime have nothing's even come close to this. You can ask Jack Van Impey. You can ask uh, Hal Lindsey. You can go check with Perry Stone. You can find out 
from some of these prominent Bible prophecy preachers and teachers. There's never been a year like it. I wrote the book, Hosea Prophecy. Here it is. I wrote it because in the book, it's, I speak about the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, and all, of ki all the killing, the animals, that just by the millions dying for no reason, diving out of the sky into the ground for no reason. And also I talk about the Arab Spring in the first six months of the year. That's all in here in the Hosea Prophecy. There is a lot of information, but here's what I want to tell you. Tomorrow night, I will be live at Paul Begley Prophecy's website. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. If you are not in a, a New Year's Eve party, or if you know of people who aren't saved, who might even be at a New Year's Eve party, or maybe you're even going to be there, <laughs> and you've got people that have been talking about the end of the world and concerned about these very same things, you may want to grab a computer sometime during the evening as you get close. I'll be on from 10 o'clock to midnight to bring in the new year. The theme will be 2012. Is this the end of the world? There's prophecies by Nostradamus. There's prophecies by the Hopi Indians. There's prophecies by the Mayans. And then, of course, there is the ultimate prophetic word that I believe the Word of God. I really don't believe these other guys, but I'll tell you what they're saying, and they're all pointing toward a time like we've never seen. But tell me, isn't that what we've had this year? My question to you again, oh, by the way, six people got saved in the last two days, and I think there'll be another rush of folks wanting to get right with God as we come to the end of this year. And you might want to send me a personal message right here on YouTube. Title it, I want to be saved, I want to be saved, I want to be saved. You need to do it now. Tell people tomorrow night, live, two-hour special edition from 10 p.m. to midnight, Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go live at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Now, while we're doing that, that's if tomorrow comes. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? This is a long video. I'm sorry to do a 19-minute video, but... I felt like this was at such an important moment in history as Syria in the streets and as wars and rumors of wars and the nations are falling. And I didn't even tell you, tomorrow we're going to cover it all. The sun, the moon, the stars, the comets, how they related to the feast of the trumpets and the feast of the tabernacles. We're going to talk about the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. We're going to talk about the dead whales. We're going to talk about all the earthquakes, including Japan. We're going to talk about the Arab Spring, nation by nation, leader by leader. We're going to break this thing down for you and bring in the new year together. God bless each and every one. We love you, and we'll, we will see you with another video probably tonight.